Good morning, my name is Joel Garrett. I'm a site engineer here at Western Earth Moving. First thing I do is open the gate, drive in and park in the compound. Toolbox normally goes for about 15 minutes. It starts at 6.45 so that we can start the gear up straight on seven o'clock in the morning. So we'll all get together as a team and talk about the activities for the day so everyone's on the same page. It's nice to, to see the guys in the morning and we all have our coffees and some of us have some snacks we can get around and talk about just our lives as well and, and get to know the guys on a personal level as well. Especially on days like this, it's great to, great to be here in the, in the morning with the sunrise coming up. Uh, when it's great weather, we really enjoy just getting out and enjoying the fresh air. Yeah. As a part of the activities while we're doing our toolbox, uh, the workshop team will be working hard to make sure that the machines are up and ready to run, as well as our mini tankers who will be refueling at the same time. And then once the guys jump into their machines, they'll do their separate own checks of any mechanical or electrical items that may need to be ticked off for the morning to make sure that they can work safely. So after the guys are up and running, I'll make sure that any of the new workers on site are inducted and signed on to the appropriate documentation. As a part of that, we give them uh, a good understanding of the works that are going on site and any hazards that they need to be looking out for. So now I jump in my vehicle and drive around site. Yeah, it's, it's exciting because every day you come to work, you can see the changes and the progress that is being made and, and the impact that that's going to make on the community. So I'll pull aside some of our operators and have a chat to them. The main reason for this is just to make sure that the guys are in the right areas. There's no misunderstanding from the morning toolbox and also to make sure that everything's running smoothly, but also just to ask them if they had anything to add or any recommendations from, from their own experience. It's something that's very valuable on site and because our operators have so much experience under their belt, it's really something you need to make use of. It's an opportunity for me to learn myself off them every day. I'll do a check of any safety flagging or making sure that items are delineated properly. On a daily basis, we're required to go out and do quality assurance checks. This is a survey item. We have our own rovers and are able to go out and make sure that the levels are correct. And, and also any of the works, whether it's drainage, bulk earthworks, any stage is being installed at the correct level and the correct way. Any site that you come to at WEM though will have its own environmental areas and that'll be properly set out in the, in the plans and talked about prior in our pre-start. We, we strive to protect these areas and keep them away from any potential harm or damage. As with environmental zones on site, every site will have its own services that are underground or overhead. It's, it's imperative that these are identified prior to starting works and are properly separated from our works. Ways we can do this is through orange flagging, bunting, we use high risk corridors. So our lunch goes from 12 o'clock to 12.45. The guys will come park up, come into the compound. We like to sit around and have another chat, have a bite to eat together. This is another good opportunity for us to just get to know the guys and, and chat on a personal level as well. As a manager on site, it's really important that you keep an eye out for the guys, both physically and mentally. Um, it's important that you make sure that they are eating properly, drinking water and, and taking care of themselves. So after lunch, we'll start back up. I'll go for another drive around, just to make sure there's nothing else that needs to be clarified and make sure everything's running smoothly. My time is split between out on site and in the office. So I do come back, sit down in front of the computer and, and get my documentation out of the way. Things like that include going through my emails and making sure that I'm ticking off client items for our regular meetings, planning ahead for the guys and, and developing plans to, to show them to make work smoothly, and also ordering any items or materials that are required early ahead of time. We have a weekly site checklist that we run through. This is in order to ensure that any potential hazards, environmental or safety items are covered and addressed. And if there are any concerns that they are raised immediately. Between myself and other WEM employees, we work together to look ahead of time to make sure that we are properly programming activities 
and arranging for subcontractors, gear and material to arrive on site on time. Yeah, come, come end of play, the operators will come park up and put their machines in a safe location, gather their materials and we'll all lock up the compound together, making sure that it's secure and safe. Drive home, put our feet up and get ready to come back in the next day and do it all again. And that's a day in the life at WEM.